You know, it's been nice the past couple of days. The weather has not been as cold as it can get. Yeah, we actually saw snow, but it was more falling like rain yesterday over mm -hmm. portions of the metro with temperatures in the 40s. We're back to the 40s today. Love it. And near 60 degrees tomorrow. So we have a nice warm up this weekend here across the plains. Temperatures right now are cold. We're only in the upper teens. Sun is shining over Denver City Park, but you head to certain spots like Westminster. If you're going up the hill, areas of fog will limit visibility this morning driving on our roadways, so just be aware of that. Some frosty conditions left over as well across the metro. Mostly clear skies up over Winter Park, dry right now, and we are expecting more mountain snow to develop later on this weekend. But right now it's dry with temperatures only in the single digits out near Dillon, up through Kremling, high teens from Aurora to Castle Rock, and low 20s currently in Greeley and Fort Collins with more cloud coverage to start the day. Your metro area planner expect foggy conditions to linger until about 9 o'clock, then dissipate, and then partly cloudy skies skies through the afternoon. Highs today will top out in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees from downtown into Highlands Ranch, mid 40s in Boulder, 30s return to some of our mountain towns, including Estes Park and Frisco. Highs today statewide. It's going to be another mild afternoon across the southeastern plains, low to upper 50s expected, 30s, even some low 40s expected there near the valley level and Eagle. We are tracking another storm system, though, set to bring widespread snowfall winter weather advisory for our northern mountains in effect Sunday through early Monday morning, where around four to eight inches of accumulation are possible. And tomorrow the main story will be the winds very gusty with high wind watches over southern Colorado extending from Pueblo down through Alamosa and Trinidad and fire danger will be a concern through tomorrow afternoon across the plains. So here's a look ahead at our future cast. A couple of flurries will be possible out of the far eastern plains, but otherwise a pretty dry day here across the state. Increasing clouds as we get into this afternoon and evening and then overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. That's when we'll start to see more of that snow filter into our northern and portions of our central mountains. The heaviest amounts up near Rabbit Ears Pass are Elk and uh, Elkhead and Park Mountain ranges. And then for tomorrow afternoon, you see those very gusty winds from the southwest. Temperatures tomorrow will be back to the 50s. Dry conditions for the I-25 corridor and eastern plains and continued snowfall into our northern mountains. Then expect gradually clearing skies and temperatures will be back to near seasonal normals to start the week. Tomorrow, though, slightly above average with highs in the 50s here for the Denver area. Expect those gusty winds into the afternoon. Monday, partly cloudy, low 40s. Tuesday into Wednesday, we're tracking another storm system that'll drop our temperatures and bring back the chance for a snowfall here across the Denver area.